Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to start a new mini series about Laravel API resources. For that, I have created this uh, fresh Laravel 9 project. So Laravel version 9.7. And if you go to the Laravel documentation and search for the API resources, here we have the documentation for API. We can create a resource by saying PHP artisan make colon resource and give it the name. If we want a collection, we can say PHP artisan make resource, the name and the flag dash dash collection, or just by adding the user and collection under the name. Okay, so in this project, I have uh, created a post model and migration. And also I have added 10 posts, 10 fake posts here. And when we go to the post, now we just have this uh, default Laravel uh, welcome page. Now to use the, with the uh, resources, I'm going to use the insomnia. You also can uh, use the postman or you have uh, some Chrome extension, but I'm going to use the Insomnia. So let's open the Insomnia here. And uh, in the roads of our project, we need to make some changes. So here we say road get and return the view. I'm going to return the API resource here. Okay, first I'm going to get the first post. So the assigned post is going to be with the post model. Make sure you import the post here. And I'm going to say a find or fail the, the post with ID uh, one right now. I'm going to hard code that. And now when we return, I'm going to return And now to return the resource, we first need we need to create that resource. So in the terminal, so here I'm going to return the resource, but we don't have that. So let's go and create in the terminal. I am inside the API resources. So let's say artisan make resource. Okay, so artisan make a resource and the username, the name of the resource in this case is post resource. Hit enter. Okay, now the resource is created. And if you go in the app directory, HTTP, and we have resources here, and we have the post resource. And this is returning the default. An array here's how we can uh, serialize the object. In this case, it's going to return all the, the fields, but after that, I'm going to show you how to modify. And with this post resource, now I'm going to return that. So let's say new and this post resource. So call that post resource. And in here, I'm going to add the post we have. Okay. Now, if I go to the project and refresh, here it is the resource. But let me open the Insomnia and uh, I'm going to copy this URL, paste to the Insomnia and make a get request. So send and here it is the data. Just uh, let me zoom in this one. Okay, now I think we are okay. So here we have the data which is wrap this uh, object, which is the post. We have the ID, the title, the body, 
and the created that and updated that. Okay, so now let's go and modify the resource. Here we return the parent array, but let's serialize what we need here. So let's say I'm going to return only the ID of this post and we say here dollar sign this and ID. If I first we need to add the semicolon here, save and make a send a get request here. And you see here now we have only the ID which is one. Now let's say uh, in the web routes we accept the ID okay and here let's add that ID here to assign ID let's save it from here and add the ID2 now send and we have the ID2 you see here let's get and also display the title so let's come here to the post resource and say title dollar sign this title now we have all the properties of this post to this keyword okay let's save this one now and try again now we expect to have the ID and also the title. Let's say send. And now we have the ID 2 and the title, which is this one. If I say D3, click send. And we have the ID 3 and the title is changed. Let's say we need also to add the body. Say the last sign this body okay make get request and here we have the body let's say we need to create a dot so let's say created add dollar sign this create a dot and let's save it come here and click send request and here it is the created dot timestamp okay now if we want if you want to change so for example you don't want to show the ID but you you maybe so let's say just post ID okay and uh, come here and say send and now we have post ID in here. Okay, friends, uh, that's it. The intro for the API resources with Laravel is very easy and is very useful if you work with uh, Vue.js or React or any JavaScript library and you have an API to get the data and the Laravel is sending to you how you want and also here we have uh, you have some uh, examples so created that updated that also you can add links so here is the data and it's get all the collection and also the links for that is wrap this in the data because if we have also the links, it's coming down there. And you can go and look to the Laravel documentation for more details. And I'm going to create another video for this as well. So also if you are in the user and the user has posts or the user has relationship, here we have posts and it's called in the post resource collection and this post this is the user post okay so take a look to this uh, documentation for more hope you enjoy and see you in the next video friends all the best